All right, everyone. First, an update. Keep in mind, I'll be going to the beach later today, and I'm staying there for a three-day vacation, so uh, I'm not going to be doing any live streaming on the weekends unless there's, like, something existential that goes on. I'm not going to have my normal home internet. Uh, so uh, if something <clears throat> totally crazy happens, uh, don't worry, I got your back. But uh, mainly, I'm going to be waiting around in tidal pools and eating some nice fish chowder. Anyway, we'll get right into the news. Nancy Pelosi is admitting, effectively here, link in the description, archived, of course, I couldn't believe it when she came out and said this. She's effectively admitting to a coup, a palace coup, involving Joe Biden. That is, uh, until, you know, well, this statement, we were told that the Democratic Party generally had Biden's back, and that under pressure, because of dissent within the party, uh, not including the party leadership, just general dissent and, and bad polling, he decided to stand down. He said, well, come on, man, you know, I, I can't do this. It, clearly, it's because of his cognitive incapacity. But uh, the excuse was, well, it's time to pass the torch to somebody younger. Now, Kamala Harris isn't necessarily young, but she's certainly younger by several decades than Joe Biden. She's not cognitively impaired, other than the fact that she's fucking retarded. Um, that was effectively the excuse that we were given. But if you look at this link, I mean, this is Nancy Pelosi in her own words, simply telling Joe this ain't happening. Um, this was a palace coup. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, I'm sure the Clintons and Obamas, the, the people that pull the levers of power within the uniparty system, they all approached Biden and they sat him down and said, you cannot win this election. It's impossible. Donald Trump in public polling, where he's probably being undersampled for, is already several points ahead of you in every competitive state and in the general election. If you proceed, you're going to get absolutely crushed. There's no possibility of you winning. We know that you've got cognitive impairment, so we're not expecting you to do well at the second debate either. That probably harms you further. Game, set, match. You're going to lose. Stand down. And so he did. Um, I think that he was reluctant to do so. I think that behind closed doors, and you haven't seen much of Biden since that announcement now, have you? I think that he's generally morose. I think he's genuinely sad. I think he genuinely wanted to get a second term as president of the United States and, and feels emasculated by this. Now, of course, uh, you know, once you hit that age, without your little blue pill, you know, you're not very masculine at all anyway, probably. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Hell, if I get to be Joe Biden's age, I probably won't be able to get it up either. By that point, I probably won't care, by the way. I'll be too busy uh, you know, planning my, uh, my funeral home visit or something like that. Now, Pelosi is effectively admitting to a coup. They lied to the public. When is the public going to realize what happened and get angry at the fact that they were misled for so long? These people knew that Joe Biden was not mentally cognizant. They knew. They had to have known. Kamala had to have known. She meets with him on a regular basis. Supposedly, they're besties, too. I mean, Biden is like, uh, you know, friend Obama, bye. Uh, friend Kamala, hi. Um, supposedly, uh, he was cognitively normal. We know that's the actual reason that he dropped out. He completely flubbed the first debate. He was sinking in the polls. He's recovered a little bit now, actually, in uh, approval polling because he dropped out, which is hysterical to me, although it's also rather sad. We have the party leadership coming out fully to the public and acknowledging the fact that there was effectively an attempt to force Biden off the ballot. The earlier excuse that they gave was, well, Joe just decided it's time to pass the torch. you got to give it to somebody younger. His era has ended. It's time to get... Well, Nancy Pelosi's like the same age as Joe Biden. I don't see her standing down. Uh, that's rather telling now, isn't it? It's because he is cognitively impaired. He wasn't capable of debating. And they knew if he wades into the next debate, if he skips a debate, people think he's hiding Biden. Uh, Kamala's doing the same thing, by the way, for different reasons. If he does go to the debate, he gets fucking hammered and he loses another point or two of support. There's no possible way forward for him to actually win the election. And by the way, you may think uh, all the bravado about enthusiastic Kamala, energetic Kamala, 
Uh, they're they're trying to inject the age issue into the election again now that the the Democratic opponent is far younger, which I predicted would happen, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Despite all of this, this is a move out of desperation. They also wanted Biden to be the standard bearer because he's got the incumbency, and they figured, okay, if we can drag him across the finish line, yeah, he can retire at any point after. If he does get incapacitated or die, you know, we still we end up with President Kamala. They were hoping to get her into the presidency, not on her own merits, but because Joe Biden dragged her into the presidency because she was the Veep. That's what they wanted to do. We've got confirmation of this. James O'Keefe managed to do the thing with the, uh, the, the data security director for the White House. And for some reason, apparently, if you spray your hair blonde and put on glasses, they don't realize that you're James O'Keefe, which shows you uh, data protection in the White House and uh, uh, sleuthing in general may not necessarily be up to par at the moment. That's also telling about the administration's competence. Um, and they said uh, that they, un they understood that Joe is, you know, he's out to lunch. He's not cognitively, you know, he's got dementia. Uh, but they can't kick Kamala off the ticket, even though there were uh, rumors in the White House that they wanted to do so because they figured if they fired the black female, it wouldn't look good for voters. All of this is coming together. We've got public acknowledgement now of a literal palace coup in the White House, and it was based on cognitive problems. It was not based on Joe Biden wanted to pass the torch. That was the excuse that was given. Nancy Pelosi is giving a totally different story. I think that she would probably know, being like the third-ranked Democrat in all of Congress, or, or the government in general, after Biden and Kamala themselves. I mean, certainly Schumer's her little lapdog, so eh, technically he outranks her because he's actually leading something in the Senate, but you know, we, we all know who's calling the shots with Chuck Schumer as well. It's, it's Nancy Pelosi. She runs a tight ship among congressional Democrats. Lord help us, if they get a significant majority in the House and the Senate, they'll lock down the government for the next couple of years, even if Trump's elected. Um, my hope is that Trump is, is wins. Of course, I, I sort of have stated that before. But Nancy Pelosi is admitting that would-be Trump's opponent got dragged out in a coup. This is absolutely damning. This is a 10 out of 10 scandal. I see barely anyone even talking about it. She's admitting to it. Effectively, this is an admission that the entire Democratic Party leadership structure lied to the American people for an extended period of time. Even if it wasn't cognitive, uh, cognitively related, they're still admitting to the fact that Biden didn't stand down on his own accord. He didn't just look in the mirror after the debate and say, God, I've gotten old and I'm, I can't debate and my, my mind doesn't work the same way as I, I need to stand down. That's not what happened. They suggested, suggested to him, Mr. President, oh, you've done a great job. Pat him on the head and stuff, give him another bran muffin. You've done a great job, but this ain't, this ain't happening. That's Nancy Pelosi's words. This is a goddamn huge ass scandal. The American people need to know more about it. I call on content creators to blast this 24 seven over the news cycle. This is insane. They literally stood down a sitting president who supposedly, according to their words here, doesn't have any cognitive problems. He just had a bad debate. So Nancy Pelosi is saying, well, we just recognized there was no way forward because he fucked up too many times, never bringing up dementia or anything like that. Which one is it? Did he choose it himself or was he cajoled? And for what reason did that happen? We've got like five different variants of what actually happened there. They're trying to gaslight the entire public day after day after day. Kamala will never hold a goddamn presser. Tim Walls has to be trotted out over and over again and pretend that he was never a socialist, even though he's a socialist. Uh, nothing is normal within the Democratic Party right now. This is out of desperation. They're wagon circling, throwing up Hail Marys, and doing everything they can to scramble to, to recoup the, the losses that they had because Joe Biden is fucking demented. And we all know that he's fucking demented. It's just uh, he won't appear in public so we don't get to see how uh, declined he is. That's about all. Peace out.